What is going down guys? My name is Tetra Ninja and I welcome you to my second episode of Map Breakdown. And in the first episode we looked at a TDM on the map grid. So obviously by the title today we're playing a domination game on one of the new DLC maps called Berlin Wall. And to kind of help you navigate yourself and as well make the later part of this video a little bit easier to understand, we're just going to start with some basic callouts to get you going. So this building right here in front of me I like to call the Metal Shop. The one with a happy sailor on it. And if anyone actually knows German and can translate that to me, that would be greatly appreciated. Uh, it's called the metal shop because there's some metal presses in it. And beside it is the beer store because it's a beer distillery as you can see right here. Uh, and beer store is a lot shorter than beer distillery. Beside it is the office building. There's really nothing distinguishing about this building except for the typewriter. So I just decided to call it the office. It has a little hole in the wall as you can see right there. And beside that building is the bar, and because it has a bar. And most of these callouts are self-explanatory. If you want to come up with your own, just find something distinguishing about that area and then give it a name. And moving on, this is called the U.S. Embassy just because it has a bunch of American flags on it. And across from it is, on the other side of the map, is actually a building which I call the German Embassy. So it kind of balances it out. And now we're entering the pharmacy. Uh, has a bunch of drugs on it in it and it actually overlooks the ADOM flags So if you're trying to cap ADOM make sure this building is actually clear or you're just wasting your life Moving on this is called the coffee shop uh, As there's an espresso sign right there, but coffee is a little bit un easier to understand and is only two syllables instead of three and the next building is a very, very important one if you're playing Domination, it is called the Record Store, just because it has a window just as the mail shop does that overlooks directly the B Dom flag. So if you're playing a bunch of tryhards, then most likely they're gonna be in this building kind of protecting it. And we step out of here, and we're gonna actually move to the back of the map and enter the dangerous tunnel way. But not really. <laughs> Anyways. And on the other side of the tunnel, we exit and see the building, which once again I told you guys earlier, the German Embassy. And there you go. And final building is called the Shoe or Clothing Store. And yeah, uh, at the very side of the maps, you have these two uh, areas, which you can call the side roads, so the German and the American side roads, but it really comes down to preference. So yeah, those are some basic callouts that will get you started. And let's move right on to some basic respawn points on this map in Domination. And just as in any other Call of Duty map, you want to own two flags to control the spawns. So if you own the B and C flag, then the enemy team will be respawning in the red. Uh, but if your team owns the A, B flag, then the enemy team will be respawning in the green areas. But if you own A, C, for example, then the spawns get thrown all over the place as well if you dominate the other team and own all three flags, then once again, the spawns will be flipped. So control two flags, uh, B, C, or A, B, and then you'll be perfectly fine. And what you really want to note is you want to control these yellow areas as much as possible. You want to at least have one teammate in this area, making sure that the B flag stays safe. It's just because there are two main buildings that overlook the B flag as well. The main respawn points are pretty close to the B flag. So yeah, there's some map knowledge through callouts and basic respawn points to help you navigate yourself through domination on Berlin Wall. And what I really think Treyarch was going for when they were designing this map pack is that they wanted medium-sized maps with a greater emphasis on team-based play. And domination on this map, or Kowloon, or even Stadium, uh, the B points are in open areas fairly close to main respawn points. So one person can't really backpack a team as you take a quick look at my class setup for this game. So you really need designated roles. I was having a lot of difficulty playing domination by myself. Uh, I needed a, uh, at least one other player with me and in this game I think I have three players but the third player wasn't actually moving because he was set up uh, oh, setting up his uh, live stream so well, I was really only playing with two players and uh, my friend Undisputed Z or Zach if you you probably seen him in previous videos of mine so yeah my role in this game was like I told you guys in the, in the breakdown I'm going to Controlling the yellow area on this side of the map, which is why I threw down the C4. I thought I'd be very clever using the C4, but it actually only works once. And then the other team just started premiating the area, and then yeah, it only worked once. I got a bunch of hit markers the other time. And just take a quick note of where I respawn right here next to the German Embassy. 
even though my team does own B and C at this point, uh, the other enemy team actually pushed into our spawn and started capping B flag from our side, so that flipped the spawn. So you do, will occasionally respawn next to the German embassy if the other team is deeper into your spawn. And this red shaded area on the mini map is the no fly zone or the no or the turret zone, sorry. And White Boy Seventh Street posted a video on this. If you use a Willy Pete and throw in the middle of it, uh, you can actually run across it. You don't even need lightweight or marathon. I tested it out. You can cross it uh, just fine by throwing the Willy Pete by itself. And uh, I think Team Art posted a video on this where you can you can actually, as I fail with the C4 and try to defend. Uh, the people coming from the German embassy and kind of just bail out and chicken out after I get a couple shots into me. And do that if, you'd, if you're going to lose the gunfight or you, you got a couple shots and you don't feel afraid of just bailing out of there. And yeah, like I said, Team Art posted a video of this. You can actually capture the B point on the other side of this broken wall right here that I'm pausing for you guys. If you throw a Willy Pete down there and it will kind of block you off from getting shot from the turrets. So yeah, you can capture the B point from the other side of that wall if you're having a little bit more difficulty trying to capture it. Like I said, it's right beside two respawn points and it's getting constantly naded and nade spammed. So if you're running against an organized team, you will run into some difficulties capturing it. And you'll be constantly losing it and fighting back and forth for it once again. So here, I'm back in my little yellow area. Took a nice grenade to the face. Uh, but that was my designated role that I set for myself in this game. Uh, my job was to patrol that little area that I labeled in the yellow in the map breakdown for you guys. And at the time, my friend Zach was covering the other side of the bar area, as you can see right there. His job was to make sure that we didn't get flanked around. I find that because more often people are responding next to the U.S. Embassy than the German Embassy, then you have more of a flood of people coming in from that side. So that was his designated role in this game. And my overall impressions of this map pack so far, I was kind of raging the first night. Uh, I think it was kind of unfounded, well, partially unfounded, because just like any other new game, if the game just came out, people are kind of learning all the new maps and everything. People, unfortunately, tend to camp a little bit, a little bit more, and about three quarters of the other team were always using ghosts, and it was just making my life a little bit, uh, a little bit more difficult. But like I said earlier, um, th I think these new, this new map pack was really geared towards uh, objective-based gameplay such as Domination or Headquarters. There are a lot of buildings, as you probably could tell by the callouts I was doing. A lot of those buildings actually had second levels in them for people to kind of hide out in and camp basically. So really not geared towards TDM, but like I said, really geared towards objective-based games such as Domination or Headquarters. And I'm still, I'm still going to say this, Kowloon is the worst map in Call of Duty history. Second, probably only to Chinatown from the COD 4 days. I absolutely hate that map. Everyone's getting excited for all the zip lines and stuff. But once I played it, first off, it sounded terrible. It had that rainy sound from like Downpour from Modern Warfare 2. So if you're playing that map, it's pretty much useless to use Ninja on just because the rainfall. As well, if, you, if you're wearing a headset, you get like showered in that noise of the airplane flying by at the very beginning of the map. It just just breaks your eardrums, in my opinion. So yeah, when I first bought the map pack, I was primarily just playing TDM, just to kind of learn where to move around and everything, since uh, there was no clear objective. Uh, there was no rush, I could play at, at my own pace. But uh, I'm just going to say it, uh, the main problem is ghost campers. And if you're playing TM, especially in the first week as I record this video of the map pack coming out, you're gonna run into a lot of ghost campers, just as you would with, with any new maps coming out in any sort of game. People need to learn everything and they tend to camp a little bit more. But my, oh, So you wanna play Domination basically, it gives people a clear objective and they'll move around a lot more. And just on note of the other maps, like I said, Kowloon, terrible map, not gonna go there again. But Discovery, not too bad, once again it's really emphasize in domination play. Uh, the, the dom point is right in the middle but you also see that there's a lot of head glitching points on that map. People kind of hide behind some cover uh, there, and there's a lot of it on that map and pick you off by shooting bullets out of their heads. <laughs> 
So just be wary if you're playing Domination on that game or that map on Discovery, then you're gonna run into a lot of head glitches. And I'm really, really digging Stadium. Uh, I like the way it looks. Uh, in my opinion, uh, I'm not really. First off, <laughs> first off, uh, this map, Berlin Wall. I've had enough of all the snowy levels. Treyarch, give me something a little bit more different, other than snow levels, and I'll be a little bit more happier. But Stadium, I really, really like how it looks and how it's designed. It's a really good map once again for domination. Uh, not too bad of a map for for team deathmatch. Uh, that's really what decides how much I like a map of how versatile it is for the other game types. But yeah, for domination, it's really good. Even though once again, uh, the B dom point is right in the middle, surrounded by. And nothing basically, so you'll get nade spammed a lot, so make sure you have your flak jacket class equipped. And like I said, it's not too bad for Team Deathmatch either. So overall, um, I'm still kind of up in the air as of right now for this DLC. I know that a lot of my friends actually really like it a lot. I'm still kind of up in the air like I said about it. But I do give props to Treyarch for not just regurgitating some of their old maps and just giving us some fresh new ones. So props to them for that. And as you can see right here, you cannot move too far away from the B point in any of the new maps at all because like I said, they're very close to enemy respawn points and what you're going to find if you're playing by yourself is that they're going to be switching a lot. You're going to go back and forth between who owns the B flag and it's just going to make your life a little bit harder. And I kind of transitioned out of my B point right here or my little area that I wanted to patrol and as you can see Jake is back from his setting up his live stream. And the reason I kind of moved away from it is because I actually have my Blackbird up now, so um, there's really no point of sacrificing your life if you're very close to all your kill streaks, especially if you're running high end end ones like I am right here. So, and I think I did a pretty good job of playing the objective in the first three quarters of the game. So, as always in my videos, I bring you guys Puppy Vision to kind of just spice it up. Uh, Chopper Cam is in the top right hand corner. And the chopper standalone by itself without the dogs doesn't work too well on this map as you can see. Uh, the enemy team is usually respawning next to the tunnel or next to the coffee shop or the pharmacy. So if you run into players who know what they're doing then they'll just duck out in the, in the buildings or in most cases, especially in this first week, you have a lot of people running Ghost Pro. So if you're playing a TDM, then most likely they're just going to chill out in the building till the chopper is gone. So uh, the chopper in this map is not too strong even though I am kind of destroying the other team with it, but I don't expect too much from it uh, when you're playing this game on this map. So yeah, uh, the gameplay is about to wrap up right here as this doggy is trying to <laughs> spasm his way through a doorway right here. And uh, that's the end of Puppy Vision or coming to the end of Puppy Vision as well as this gameplay. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you guys found it very informative and hopefully you enjoyed the gameplay. I thought I played the objective pretty well and gave you guys some pretty good tips on how to navigate yourself around this map, especially in Domination. So yeah, if you like the video, all I ask is that you give it a quick rating. It just helps me out a lot. And as you can tell, it takes a little bit more effort than your typical Black Ops video that you're going to be seeing online. So yeah, thank you guys once again for watching. Thank you from Machinima for letting me post, and I will see you guys next time. Peace. Oh my god, we missed that contract by one fucking point.